I'd invite you to please rise as you're able. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the source of all mercy and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our sorrows, that we can comfort others in their sorrows with the consolation we ourselves have received from God. Thanks be to God. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were buried there with him by the baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our brother Barry Lee Goldberg. We thank you for giving him to us to know and to love as a companion in our pilgrimage on earth. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us your aid so that we may see in death the gate to eternal life, that we may continue our course on earth in confidence until by your call, we are reunited with those who have gone before us through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of God's Word. Our first lesson today comes from the Old Testament book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. These are some of the most beautiful words in the entire Bible, talking about how there is a time for everything under heaven, a time for every matter. This encapsulates our very lives. It encapsulates Barry's life, that there was a time for him to do all those different things that we do throughout our life, joys and sorrows, tears and laughter, all those things that we produce and that we look forward to in life, that God is walking with us through that. God walked with Barry each and every day through his life. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, 
and to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Here ends this reading. We'll read responsively Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Our second lesson today comes from the New Testament book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 31 to 35 and 37 to 39. If we hear about all those times of our lives in Ecclesiastes, in this reading from Paul, we hear about how God is with us through all of those. God never fails us, no matter how hard or difficult life may be, no matter how far away we may feel from God, God is always present near to us, lifting us up. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies, who is to condemn. It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword no, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Here ends that reading. At this time we'll sing the hymn, Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. It's in the Withland voice, the blue hymnal, number 734.
We, con we join together in our gospel acclamation. Alleluia. Jesus Christ is the firstborn of the dead. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Our gospel reading for this morning comes from John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6, and verse 25 to 27. In this reading, Jesus talks about how he is going to prepare a place for his disciples, but he's also preparing a place for us, all who believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. He says that in his Father's house there are many rooms. There is room for everyone. All people are welcome, all those who believe. And as he does this, he lifts up to all those who are present and to us today that he is indeed the way and the truth and the life, the one who brings about salvation for this world. And so this is John chapter 14, beginning at verse 1. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you, all of you, that I have said, of what I have said to you. Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the obituary for Barry Lee Goldberg. Barry Lee Goldberg, age 89, of Brenham, passed away on January the 9th, 2024. Barry Lee was born on May 17, 1934, at home in Burton, to John and Lily Fisher Goldberg. He attended Rayburg School and Burton High School. And on May 12, 1972, he was united in mar marriage to Dolores Arndt. He worked as plant manager at Coca-Cola for 36 years and served as a constable at Precinct 4 in Washington County for 28 years. He was baptized on July 1, 1934 at St. Paul Lutheran Church of Rayburg by Pastor C.A. Lady and confirmed his faith on April 10, 1949, also at St. Paul Rayburg. He was a lifelong and active member of St. Paul Lutheran Church in Rayburg. Barry was a neat storyteller always making people laugh. His favorite pastimes were visiting with friends, deer hunting, playing poker, and having a cool one. Cooking for friends, dancing with his wife, Dolores, and traveling with the McClendon bus group. Those left to cherish his memory are his wife, Dolores, sister-in-law, Nora Lee Goldberg, niece and her husband, Brenda and Marcus Ronderman, nephew and his wife, Larry and Tammy Goldberg, and great nieces and nephews and many cousins. Barry was predece predeceased by his daughter, Lisa Lynn Goldberg, his parents, John and Lily Fisher Goldberg, a brother, Monroe Goldberg, father and mother-in-law, Bill and Erna Arndt, a niece, Cynthia Goldberg, and a furry friend, Peppermint Patty. The family would like to thank the special caregivers, Charlie Schrader and Janice Ronderman McClendon, and also Akara, Akara Hospice. I would also like, like to invite all of you to stay after the service today for the luncheon that the uh, church has so lovingly prepared here and to visit and to share your stories about how Barry has touched your life in so many, many different ways. Well, grace and peace from God our Father, from our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. As I said earlier, those are the beautiful opening words of the Old Testament reading today from Ecclesiastes. Those words encapsulate our lives here on earth, for there is indeed a time for every matter under heaven, 
a time to be born and a time to plant, to harvest, to heal, to build up, a time to weep, to laugh, to mourn, to dance, a time to embrace. There is a time to seek, to lose, to keep, to tear, and to sow, a time to be silent, a time to speak, a time to love, a time to make war, and a time for peace. Absolutely everything in life is summed up in those words. And those words sum up the life which Barry Lee Goldberg lived here in this community. I met with Dolores and Janice on Thursday to plan this funeral. I listened to their stories about Barry. I didn't know him personally, though I'm sure I've met him over the years in this community, but I heard Dolores and Janice speak of his life, of his loves, his joys, his laughter, and his sorrows. I heard them speak of a man who loved life and who loved to share life with others, with all of you gathered here today. And those words from Ecclesiastes came to my mind as I heard just some of those things that made up Barry's life. For there was indeed a time for every matter under heaven in this life for him. A time to tell stories and to make people laugh, a time to visit with friends, to take bus trips together, a time to go deer hunting and cook and play cards, a time to dance with Dolores, a time to work hard providing a living, and a time to serve in this church. And then last night at the visitation, so many of you shared stories with me also to tell how Barry touched your lives. There were stories of birthday parties and jokes that Barry loved to tell. Larry and Tammy shared stories of working cattle with Barry, of repairing fences. They expressed their gratitude for the many things that he taught them and how they will cherish, cherish the many memories of just spending time with Barry. All these things and many more make up a life well lived in God's love and by God's guidance. They make up the many times of Barry's life here on earth. And now, now, there is that one time for one more matter under heaven, the most important matter of all. That matter is to die to this life, and even more importantly, to live in the arms of Christ in God's kingdom forever. This experience, this life in Christ, is what Barry has been moving toward for all of his days here on earth. For Barry's life is not I will say that again, it is not just found in the years he spent here on earth. Rather, his life is found in Jesus Christ forever. Barry was baptized into the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ so many years ago. In that baptism, he was sealed by the Holy Spirit. He was marked with the cross of Christ forever. He was claimed as a child of God. And just as the apostle Paul said in our reading from Romans today, nothing Absolutely nothing in all of creation can ever separate Barry from God's love. Barry is right now at peace in the arms of Christ. His sins are forgiven. He is in that place that God, in God's kingdom which Christ has prepared for him. He is assured of eternal life with Jesus Christ because of God's love for him. Jesus is Barry's savior and he is indeed the way, the truth, and the life. This is the promise which has been given to Barry Lee Goldberg. And this is a promise that has been given to each and every one of you, each of you gathered here today. In your baptism into Christ, you too are claimed as a child of God. You too have been sealed by the Holy Spirit. You too have been marked with the cross of Christ forever. Jesus Christ has died upon the cross for the forgiveness of your sins. Christ has risen to new life again so that you too might live in God's kingdom. You, all of you, are a new creation in Christ. And there will be a time, there will certainly be a time, when you too will be reunited with Barry and all those who have gone before us in that great and glorious resurrection which comes through Jesus Christ. There is nothing, absolutely nothing to fear in death nor in life. For Christ claims you and loves you and assures you of peace in God's arms 
forever. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. At this time, we sing the hymn, Day by Day. It's in your bulletins, a hymn number. God has made us his people through our baptism into Christ. Living together in trust and hope, we confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit your chosen people together in one communion, in the mystical body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Give to your whole church in heaven and on earth your light and your peace. Hear us, Lord. Grant that all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and rise to newness of life, and that through the grave and gate of death we may pass with him to our joyful resurrection. Hear us, Lord. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days. Hear us, Lord. Grant to your faithful people pardon and peace that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Hear us, Lord. Grant to all who mourn a sure confidence in your loving care that casting all their sorrow on you, they may know the consolation of your love. 
Hear us, Lord. Give courage and faith to those who are bereaved, that they may have strength to meet the days ahead in the comfort of a holy and certain hope and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. Hear us, Lord. Help us, we pray, in the midst of things we cannot understand, to believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to life everlasting. Hear us, Lord. Grant us grace to entrust Barry Lee Goldberg to your never-failing love, which sustained him in this life. Receive him into the arms of your mercy, and remember him according to the favor you bear for your people. Hear us, Lord. God of all grace, you sent your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, to bring life and immortality to light. We give you thanks, because by his death Jesus destroyed the power of death, and by his resurrection has opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Make us certain that because he lives, we shall live also, and that neither death nor life nor things present nor things to come shall be able to separate us from your love, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. Let us pray. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Barry Lee Goldberg. Acknowledge we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive him into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ, amen. Because it is so cold and windy out there today, we're going to do the commendation, or the committal, excuse me, uh, in the sanctuary this uh, afternoon. And so I will have that portion of the service that we would normally do at the graveside here, and then we'll process out during the last hymn uh, with the casket and the pallbearers. I believe the pallbearers are going to go down to the cemetery as a casket is placed over the grave. I will go down there also. If anyone would like to go, you are welcome to. But again, it is very cold and windy out there, and you're more than welcome to stay up here in the sanctuary or move on down to where the luncheon will be held. Two Bible readings I wanted to share with you. The first is from Romans chapter 14. Paul says, None of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. Here ends that reading. And the second comes from John chapter 5. Jesus says, Very truly I tell you, anyone who hears my words and believes in him who has sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Very truly I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out. Here ends that reading. Let us pray. Almighty God, by the death and burial of Jesus, you're anointed. You have destroyed death and sanctified the graves of all your saints. Keep our brother, whose body we now lay to rest in the company of all your saints, and at the last raise him to share with all your faithful people the endless joy and peace won through the glorious resurrection of Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Bible reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Paul says, Lo, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be all changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. 
For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable nature must put on the imperishable, and this mortal nature must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? The sting of death is sin. The power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us a victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our brother Barry Lee. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord shine his grace, face upon him in grace and mercy. The Lord look upon him with favor and give him peace. Amen. Rest eternal, grant Barry Lee, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon him. Let us pray. Merciful God, you heal the broken in heart and bind up the wounds of the afflicted. Strengthen us in our weakness, calm our troubled spirits, and dispel our doubts and fears. In Christ rising from the dead, you conquered death and opened the gates to everlasting life. Renew our trust in you that by the power of your love, we shall one day be brought together again with our brother, Barry Lee. Grant this, we pray, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Receive the blessing of our Lord, the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in every good deed so that you may do God's will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in God's sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. I'd invite you to please rise as you are able, and we'll join together in singing the last hymn of the day, the recessional hymn.